Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. I told you guys that I was gonna hit y'all back to back with the videos this week and I am staying true to my words. So we are going to actually get into this milk bath set. This is my first time ever doing a milk bath set. I use my acrylic and milk bath <laughs> and this is what we came out with. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, you guys, so this is actually my first time doing a milk bath set. This is my first time doing them this long ever. I've never done my nails this long. This was my first time using completely square tips. I usually do tapered square tips. So you guys, this was just a whole, a whole video full of new stuff so um right here y'all i had the hardest time deciding if i was going to do them super super long or if i was going to do them short so i went ahead and i ended up doing my thumb short and i kept the rest of them pretty long and right here i'm just going ahead and just cleaning them up a little bit um with my file you don't have to do too much because as y'all know these tips now the tips nowadays are just pre-shaped for you so you you have a lot less to do with um, pre-shaping but just make sure it's as crisp as you can get it because once you lay the acrylic um, you just want to be able to go back after laying the acrylic and file pretty much um, just to clean it up instead of like overly filing which I always have to do still I um, am still practicing on my application and y'all will see a little bit of that in this video now I did do the original pop-off method which was put the base coat down and then I put some top coat over the base coat and then I glued my tips on and then I started applying acrylic so that's why you see my um, nail plate really shiny right there it's because I have on top coat because I did not want these to stay on too, too long. Um, so we will see how it goes. I usually use the Holo Taco Peely Base, which I love, you guys. If y'all don't have it, please get it. If you like to practice on your nails a lot, the Holo Taco is super, 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 super good. They pop off like literally right after they pop off um right here i just took my sandy band and i was trying to like shape them up a little bit more to make it a little more narrow because i just was not getting the narrowness that i needed with my hand file so that's what i was doing right here and you guys um you usually don't use this uh this bit i don't believe i think you use I don't know the name y'all i'm really bad at the names of the bits um so you usually use the one that looks like this but it's sharp like it's really sharp and it's really easy to cut yourself with um if i can i'll try to link a picture of what i'm talking about in the video right here but i was just trying to sharpen them um to get them really really straight and these are the little dried um paper they're actually paper flowers that i got from shein and um they're cute but i actually don't really recommend them just because of how hard they are um and then we are going to use the milk bath this is my acrylic you guys if you have not checked out my website do so now <laughs> um it will be linked in the description box of course and i will also um i will also have it pinned in the comments if you all would like to check that out now we are just going ahead and literally this is going to be so repetitive so i'm not going to talk too much about the nails after we get through like this thumb because literally everything is the same on each nail um the only thing that i wish i did differently was i wish that i had used a little more blue in the nails because on the first nail it had like purple this this um deep purple and these blue flowers and the rest of my nails literally have no blue on them and i just felt like the blue made the nail pop on the thumb and so i kind of regret y'all see that y'all will see at the end um well y'all saw in the beginning how they look but they're still cute i just wish i would have added that little extra pop of color with the blue but anyways, um, we are just going ahead and we are laying down really wet beads of this acrylic, you guys. You don't want it to be so wet that it's falling everywhere, but you want it to be wet enough to make it look literally milky. Like, 
the wetter your bead is, the more milky this white is going to look. Um, and also we are just putting small thin layers down you guys like that's what i'm doing at least this is how i do it i put really small layers down and then i put the flowers on top and yeah that was pretty much literally all you have to do just put a thin layer of it but do it in sections do not put a thin layer of this milky white on or this milk bath on your full nail because it's going to dry and then you're just going to have to keep building up building up and then that's going to make your nail super thick so you don't want to do it like that you want to place the beads in sections so for each flower you're placing a small bead now i'm not going to tell y'all to do this at home however i'm picking some flowers in my yard you guys and I'm going to make some use of this in my nails because it just was not given. Okay, you guys. So, yes, I did go out in my front yard and I went and got some flowers because these dried flowers were cute. But I did not like how they felt. Like, I don't feel like milk bath nails should have, like, hard. I don't know. I just didn't like them. So... I took matters into my own hands and I went ahead and I got, um, I went ahead and I got my own flowers and I blow dried them. Um, I went ahead and I blow dried them to, uh, to make them, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm looking at this. I'm looking at my video and I'm just not, as I'm editing, I'm literally realizing that I put this in slow motion versus time lapse like y'all i cannot believe i just did that wow okay so anyway so i went ahead and i just blow dried the flowers to make them um super super dry because you i don't want to put wet flowers in my nails and um i went ahead and i chopped them up um pretty finely and when i was chopping them up um, I got like little specks, which was great because I loved how those looked in my nails. So yeah, you guys, this set was really easy. It didn't take me too long. Um, I think it took me two hours, but that was only because I was watching TV while I did it. Um, but usually like y'all, I take forever to do nails. So this was really quick for me with watching TV. But as you can see, I am now placing some of the real leaves in there and you want to make sure that you are putting a thick enough layer, not too thick. Do not make this nail thick, y'all. Make sure, but just make sure that that real flower is not touching your real nail. You want it to be sitting right on top of the acrylic. And I just did that just because like, obviously I don't want to tell y'all to go, go out in the garden and be putting garden uh grass or whatever on your nails because it's probably not sanitary however that's what i wanted to do and it came out really cute and i'm glad i did because i needed those little specks of grass like i needed those little specks of grass to make this really pop and that's what it did for me and yeah but i'm not going to tell y'all to do it because it's probably not that sanitary to do that on your client's nails or your own nails. I mean, unless you're gonna take them inside and wash them up like greens, y'all know y'all how y'all wash all collard greens, y'all could do that, you know, and then put it on your client's nails. That would be sanitary. <laughs> so this whole time I was thinking to myself and saying like, what am I missing? So I was missing the gold flakes, you guys. Like y'all know all milk bath sets usually have gold flakes. So that is what I was missing. And I took those out. And these are my favorite gold flakes. I got them off of Amazon. Um, if y'all want me to link them down below, then just let me know. And I'll end up going to get the link. But I don't have it as of right now. But if you need it, let me know. Because they do make a world of a difference. And you can use them for so many things. As y'all know, if you have purchased um, my... Uh, cuticle oil pens i use that i use these for um the cuticle oil pens i use it for this i like it's you can have so it's so many uses for this um these gold flakes because they are edible gold flakes you guys so you can even use them for food like you can use them to put them on your cake or whatever um but yeah 
So that's what I was missing. And do y'all see my thumb right now? Do you see how it's popping right now? Like it makes a world, it makes the whole, it makes the whole look come together. Like you cannot do a milk bath set without some type of gold or silver flakes or jewels or something like it needs. I feel like it needs that extra oomph and this is what gives it. Now what y'all saw me do right there is I am just like layering a little bit more acrylic over top of the flowers. You do not want to completely submerge these flowers underneath the acrylic, underneath this color acrylic. You want to place it there really lightly and just like glide it over like a kind of like a glazed donut. Mm-hmm, like a glazed donut. There we go. Think of a glaze. Think of how glazed donuts look. You know how you can see the donut underneath it? That's how you want these flowers to look. You want it to look, you want your nails to look like a glazed donut, y'all. A glazed donut. Now, y'all, I really did have to pat myself on the back for this nail. It wasn't perfect. The actual nail wasn't perfect, but my cuticle area, baby, it was perfect. And I don't care what nobody says because well it was it was perfect for me okay because compared to what i usually do and y'all are gonna see at the end but like it came out so i'm looking at my nail right now as i record this and it's perfect like it's seamless literally seamless so i was super super proud of my cuticle area being as snatched as it was because y'all know I have been working on this for quite a while now and if you watch any of my other videos you know that I always talk y'all through like how I'm practicing and how not everything that I do is perfect I'm very new at nails so y'all are pretty much up here learning with me <laughs> But um, anyway, so I just went ahead and I capped this nail on camera and I'm actually using my clear acrylic that I've been using to make all of your glitter acrylics that y'all have been purchasing from me. And I'm so thankful. Thank you guys so much for the support. But that is what I used um, for that clear. I do not have any for purchase as of yet, just because I do not have that much of it. Um, I just have enough to distribute through uh the glitter acrylics right now but soon i will have clear acrylic available for purchase but if you are looking for a clear acrylic i highly highly recommend either mia secret or yeah mia secret is uh probably the only one that i would recommend because i've used other ones and they were like super expensive for the same quality as mia secret so i just keep mia secret um on deck if I ever well I can't say it's on deck because I don't even have any more and that's why I actually was searching for a vendor for clear acrylic and I came across that and when I found that I was like hey let me make my own my own acrylic so that is actually how that came about you guys I actually accidentally stumbled into making my own acrylics just because I had ran out of some acrylic and I was like I'm tired of buying this so much of this clear acrylic for this price like i wonder if i can find a vendor who supplies clear acrylic so y'all that is how i ended up doing this now y'all will see right here i ended up having to bend this um flower and that's what i was talking about with the uh flowers that i got from shein i really do not like them but i mean it is cheap so what can you do um if y'all would like me to supply some like softer flowers for you all on my website let me know down below if y'all would like that or i really have been asking y'all like let me know down below what y'all would like to see on a nail supply like an online nail supply um store so let me know because i have so much stuff coming for next month and it's like ridiculous honestly like i have so much stuff like it's stuff on my website right now but i have drill bits i have like um the dust caps coming in that everybody's been asking for y'all have been asked i think a few people have asked me up here but a lot of people have asked me on instagram about the dust caps that i use and i promise y'all they are a lifesaver like i've had my drill no issues um and it prevents dust from getting in your um 
in your e-file. So I'm really shocked at how many people don't use them. Y'all really need to invest in those. Yeah, I am not gonna bore y'all to death with me talking about my website. I'm just super excited to have it up now and to be adding on to it. And I just wanted to keep y'all up to date because um, I haven't been on YouTube in like over a week. And during that whole week, I was like sending off shipments and making the website and all that. So that is what was keeping me busy, you guys. Um, and I just wanted to let y'all know that I have so much more coming to the website. So I hope you guys all enjoy everything that you get from me. And thank you all so, so much for supporting me. Now the rest of these nails are going to be super repetitive, so I'm not going to talk about the nails anymore, but basically I'll just take y'all uh, one more run through it. You are placing the white or milk bath acrylic down and you are placing them with kind of wet beads just so you can see how that is. You can just drizzle it <laughs> across the... Uh, the false nail and then you are putting your roses or whatever flowers that you have on it with your gold flakes and you are taking some more uh milk bath acrylic and you are just drizzling it over top of the flowers um but you do not want to fully submerge the flowers in this acrylic you guys that is key um, you are going to cap these with clear. So again, just make sure that you have the look that you want before capping it because that will be the final look. Um, and you are doing this in sections. Now, I have seen some people completely put the acrylic down on the full nail. Then they will put the flowers down and then they will cap it and then they will put more acrylic over top of the flowers and then cap it now i just feel like that's a little unnecessary i guess because you kind of get the same look at the end because my nails came out bomb so i feel like that's one a waste of acrylic and two it's just like an unnecessary step so i just do it in sections like how you see there and yeah it comes out it came out perfect you guys i mean not i can't say any nails are perfect but to me these were really cute for my first set of milk bath nails i have never done them before so i thought they were pretty easy and i'm sure this is something that y'all can do at home now you know what i was thinking about doing i was actually thinking about getting some poly gel and trying a milk bath set with poly gel because i know a lot of y'all say that y'all do not even mess with acrylic and that y'all wish y'all did but you just can't do it because of the smell or whatever it may be so what do y'all think about me trying to do a milk bath set with poly gel like i don't even know if that's possible just because of how thick poly gel is but i mean we can always test it out y'all because y'all know i'm up for whatever challenge so i'm thinking about doing that um i might have that video up by the end of the week if i i'm gonna test it out first y'all like i'm gonna test it out to see if it actually works because i don't want to waste like a full video of showing nothing so I am going to order some and I'm going to test it out and we're going to see and I will bring y'all the tea if it works out, you guys. So I have this pet peeve that I see on YouTube when some people do nails, right? Cuticles, y'all. Cuticles. Epinicium, cuticle, whatever you want to refer to it as. Please make those in tip top shape because they, y'all, mm, child, look, some people cuticle, some people do not do their clients cuticles and it really bothers me. Like I just, that's all I can stare at the whole time I'm watching the video and it makes me not want to watch the video because I'm like, girl, why didn't you clean up her cuticles like and it's so crazy because I was on Facebook and one of my friends was commenting and she was like um girl like people really don't be or she actually made a post and she said something about like why nail techs don't prep the cuticles and trim the cuticles and you know make the cuticles look nice before applying false nails and I'm like 
wait, what? Like, that is vile. Like, that is, you have to. Because I just feel like your cuticles make your nails look good or bad. Because, well, your nails can look bad and your cuticles can be snatched. But if you have bomb nails with messed up, chopped up, chewed up cuticles and your nail tech didn't even try to like tame them or oil them down or like trim the dead off the dead skin off or like I just feel like that is all a bad that is a bad look you need to start going to that nail tech and find you another one that caters to everything and it's from my understanding that a lot of nail techs actually do not prep the cuticles and do a thorough prep um because of time like they try to take the most clients that they can in a day but my thing is let me break it down for y'all if i'm going the extra mile to make your cuticles look bomb make your nails look bomb i'm gonna charge my worth regardless like what you charge and what you put out is what you're going to attract so if you are charging 35 dollars for nails then you're going to get $35 clients. If you are charging $120 for nails, you know, the prep is nice, the nails last, then you're going to get $120 clients, like, and so on and so forth. So just know your worth, take your time, do not rush, do what you're supposed to do as a nail tech. And I promise you, like, people are going to notice, like, people really do notice like how their nails are being done, how you're doing other people's nails. Like you'd be surprised at how how detailed like people are and how closely they analyze other people, especially like on the internet and with social media these days, like people are ready to pick you apart. And I'm not saying you have to be perfect or you have to like please everybody, but just make sure that you're doing your best at your work and you're not taking shortcuts or cutting corners just to pretty much like get people in and out and out the way and make the most money because at the end of the day like they might find somebody who's doing way more than what you're doing yeah they may cost a lot more but they probably like the ending result of what that other nail tech is who's charging more is doing versus what you're doing so y'all it will come like make sure you're on top of what you're doing to people's nails if you are doing others nails and even if you're doing your nails and you are taking pictures like the cuticle that y'all it makes a difference like it really does So here I'm just taking my five in one bit and y'all, if you do not have a five in one bit, please get you one. Like literally y'all and y'all will hear, it's not just me. I'm not hyping it. I promise y'all like this five in one bit is going to change your life, your life. Like when I say your life is going to change your life, especially with you sealing cuticles. I promise y'all this is the best way to seal your cuticles with this bit right here. Now, I do not have any on my site right now. However, they will be on my site very, very soon within the next two weeks or so. I will have this exact one. They are safety bits as well. So you are not going to cut your client. And that's what I love about them. Like you're not going to cut yourself. You're not going to cut your client. They really do the job of even if you want to debulk the nail, you can use this for debulking. You can use it to seal the cuticles, which I highly recommend. That is what I use to seal the cuticles. And that's why my cuticles were popping the way that they were. Now we are coming to the end of the video because I pretty much showed you guys everything um, that I did and the next thing will just be um, me, I think, just top coating it. But I wanted to let you all know that in the near future, because I keep getting questions about it, so I'm just going to say it in this video, in the near future, I will definitely be doing a video on basically how to start a nail business or how to start a business in general because before this I already have um, another business that I do back home so I'm definitely going to let you all in on some insight of what to do what you need where to go y'all look at the nail
Can y'all check my apex out? Cause I tried, I tried for once you guys, y'all know I never build up an apex, but I had to try this time. So yeah, um, I'm definitely gonna be giving y'all a video on basically business. Um, and I know it's kind of off of nails, but like I told y'all before in a previous video, I plan to make my channel the way I want to make it. And if I want to post other things other than just nail tutorials, then I will. Um, but I definitely want to help you all out. And with that would be how to start a business because I know a lot of people, if you're watching nails, you probably either do nails, you like nails, or maybe you want to start a business in nails. I will be um, trying to help y'all with vendors and just the whole startup process. But anyway, you guys, this was the end result. After I top coated, I went ahead and used my cuticle oil, which you can find on my site. Um, like I said, the link for that is below and in the um, description box. And yeah, you guys, that is it. It was so easy, so cute. The final look was super, super nice. And I wish I could do my other hand, honestly. <laughs> I might have to make press-ons. But this was the final look, you guys. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my video. Make sure your notifications on because we're almost at 700 subscribers. And y'all already know what time that is. 700 subscribers. I am doing my Q&A. So if you have some questions for me, leave them down below. And when we hit 1,000 subscribers, that will be my next giveaway and y'all already know how I rock with the giveaways. So yep, I will see you all in the next video. All right, bye. Mwah.